Hi friends, this is Excel Guru Rajnikant and this is uh, MNC company query, maybe six or seven. I'm collecting from all the possible ways to share the solutions with you guys so that if anybody go for an interview, they may, they may face this type of interviews. So after watching my solution, they can easily crack the interview. Maximum companies are asking this type of questions. Since one week, I'm observing out of five companies, three, com three companies, I think so. Three companies are asked this query. Right. So here I'm going to give a solution. Now I will share a screen with you guys. Here is the screen. Okay. Actually, I'll zoom a little bit so that you can able to watch properly. Okay. Right. So here is the query. What you have to do with this query? I will explain you guys. Here, what will have, what happens means here there is a product, and we have to create a drop down list as per product. We have to create a zone for products. After that, we have to get a price with a formula. This is the query. So here I will show you the solution. Before going to show the solution, I will show you how it works. So it is product one, England, America, India. Product one, one uh, England, America, India. So here, see, you can see England, America, India. Right. See, if I change the product as per this, product three, here, America is not there, so I'm changing to where product to three Malaysia. So we have to get Malaysia price. Okay. Okay, guys. So here, first of all, you have to create a data validation as per product. Okay, you have to create data validation for zone that is Malaysia. Whenever we change the product, it has to show the wherever these products are available. Suppose product 2 are there. So what is the product to Iran, Iraq, Thailand, Turkey, all these things are there. So it has to show over here like this. Okay. Like this. Done. Now I will show you the solution for this. How to create a data validation for this. Now. equal to we have to use the offset to create a table okay offset where we have to start we have to start from here that is d70 sorry e17 comma how many rows do you want to jump from there so an offset it, it counts from zero not from one so how many rows it has to jump with that, we have to use the match function to pick up the location of this product. So it will, it has to pick up the location for this. F4, comma, zero. Then it will pick up the position that where is product two. Okay, I'll show you rows here, F9. So fourth position, in fourth position, there is a product 2 means in offset what it will do it will start from e17 and it will jump four rows down right understood and now coming to the column how many columns do you want to move from here to uh, next so i'm i'm telling you have to move only one column forward means here to after coming to here after coming to here it has to move here you understand after coming to here it, it, it will move from from there to here, okay? And height, how much height do you need from starting here to 
from four up two to how, how much height do you need means it has to include all these things okay so what you have to do you have to use a county function to pick up the length that is we have to pick up how many counties are there still at that place you have to pick up the height comma product and how many width comma width it has to move from here to uh, width how much it has to move length is over width so what i'll do width will be assume one okay Let's think it out and press F9 to evaluate three. Start from here and the product to how many product tools are there? It may be one, two, three, four, five, six. So automatically it will pick up six zones. Got my point. It will pick up six zones. So what I'll do now here I will do a I will press enter and I'll copy the formula from here. F2 from starting to here. I will name this formula did you got my point what i mean to say i am naming this formula by pressing control f3 it's already there so i delete it and new is this one what happened here Yes, new. So what I'll do here, I will rename with this. Not if it is not SA, it is DV, DV data validation. Okay. Close. Now it will create a data validation for us. Alt DL list and here equal to what is the name dv suppose if you forget the name range which has been given by you by the user or you then you have to press only f3 to list of the names it is f3 see dv is already there so click on that press okay okay Mm -hmm. only, I don't know where it went wrong. F3, sorry, Alt, I'll make it here. Alt D L. F3, DV, okay, now I press OK, it has to come right where I went wrong here, okay, no need to worry, we'll paste the formula over here, whole formula I pasted over here, okay, now check it out, see, it done, it done. If I change from product two to product one, think. So what is the product one? England, America, and India. That's it. Okay. So here, if I change here, say England, America, India. Right. Now here is the formula which I'm which I'm going to show you to get the price of the product as per the zone. Right. So here is the formula. First of all, what you'll do. We have to make it two conditions that is if this product is available over here or not this is first two things therefore right into this is the first condition and is there any iran in the zone range f4 so true into true one i press f9 to get so okay here i show you sorry india here it is f9 see okay now what i'll do here i will make a vlookup for this 
that is VLOOKUP of 1, comma, choose of, I'm using as an array constraint, that is 1, comma, 2, value bracket, comma, and what will be the second one? Second one will be the prices. F4, close parenthesis. Okay, let me check. Curve. Yes, everything is right. Let me look up of one here. So open the bracket here. We look up of one, choose table. What is the column index number? The column index number always be a two comma zero. It's an array function and we will simplify for that reason. I'll press only enter. If you are using 2010 or earlier, then you have to use control shift and enter. Forgot this. Okay, okay, okay. Here's the brackets. You have to use this again, this. You want you can check it by using product to product to Thailand. Product to Thailand, I need the price of product to Thailand 2051. Product to Thailand 2051. Okay, guys, I'll be back with another query. See you soon. Please like, share, and subscribe.